Now, Wave 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Amber Kulin with 31 Triple Doppler. All right, well, Amber is bringing us weather live from the first Huntsville Havoc game at home this season. It's a big night and it's getting close to the game. You can hear all the crowd buzzing kind of behind you and making their way in. What's it like out there? <laughs> oh, it is nice, especially weather wise, nice and comfortable. You probably will need that jacket once you're inside if you are coming out to the Havoc game. But just standing out here, not a bad assignment that I got handed today getting to do weather outside the studio for once. Let's go ahead and take a look outside at our Way 31 Skycam network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. That sun has started to set across the Tennessee Valley, but views are amazing from Huntsville, Muscle Shoals, Decatur, and Gunnersville at this hour. And of course, you just saw outside that we have clear skies, so 31 triple Doppler is quiet and dry as well. We'll keep the dry conditions with us as we head into the evening hours tonight. So any plans that you have to head outdoors, maybe you're headed out to this game, maybe you're headed out to a football game, looking really good weather-wise. Here's a wider view across the southeast. And notice to our north, we do have some clouds and a few showers, and that's ahead of a cold front. That's going to skirt through our area as we move into your Saturday. You'll notice a difference because it'll be very breezy, and we may see a shower or two from that system as it moves moves in. So I gave you the 10% chance of a sprinkle or two on your Saturday. So don't get overly excited because not all of us will see the rainfall, but that chance is there for a few sprinkles. And then we return to dry conditions as we head into the start of next week. So let's go ahead, time it out for you through the rest of the evening, staying quiet weather wise. If you do have plans to head out and about, by tomorrow morning, we will start to work in a few more clouds across the area, but then tomorrow afternoon when that front moves through, that's when we could see that chance of a few sprinkles here and there. Now this model tries to bring in a few more showers as we head into your Sunday morning, but if we do see any by then, they will not last very long at all. By your Sunday afternoon, we've returned to a mix of sun and clouds across the area and temperatures will be more comfortable for this time of year. We'll be back into the 70s for highs on your Sunday. And then by Monday, more clouds will start to move into the area as well staying dry though by your Monday. So your temperatures right now, we're at 80 still in Huntsville, 78 in Athens, 75 in Scottsboro, 79 degrees over in Gunnersville. And our temperatures will continue to fall through the evening. But if you're headed out to any of those games this evening, your big game Friday night forecast broke, breaks down like this. We're in the upper 70s by 8 p.m. So we'll not need a jacket if you're headed out to any of those games this evening. As far as your overnight lows, we'll fall into the 50s. Looking at 50 in Rainsville, Fort Payne, Mintone, 53 in Scottsboro overnight tonight. Over towards the Huntsville metro area, 53 up towards Meridianville and Hazel Green, 56 in Huntsville, 55 down in Faultful, 56 in Florence overnight tonight, 56 in Russellville as well. And for your weekend, it'll be a warm one tomorrow in those lower 80s, but behind that front, we're back into the 70s by Sunday. We'll get a couple of dry days to start off next week, but I'm watching Halloween for that chance of some showers. Now the models have been back and forth over the past couple of days. Some model runs here or there said, no, we're not going to see any rain. But now it's looking more likely that we will see a little rain as we head towards trick or treat time on Thursday. Now, again, we're about a week away, so I want you to check back with us each day to get that forecast, and especially as we get closer to Thursday with an updated forecast. And as we head into November, already thinking about the new month, models are starting to show a chance that will be wetter than average, which is some really good news for us because we need the rainfall. Your 10-day forecast featuring a little bit of rain here or there across the area over the next 10 days, so make sure to keep checking back for the update on that. But of course, for now, things are nice if you have any plans for your Friday.